Now, what does the Hope Project mean to you? The Hope Project, to me, are those heroes we just talked about. And they are the heroes that the survivors are to you. And to the mission of the Hope Project itself is truly representing an underrepresented population. For me, it's just an all around, holistically healing place. And I appreciate them. I think about people. And I think about the people that have a lot of skill and compassion in really a grace filled ministry to help hurting women and girls. Seeing somebody willing to stand in the gap and walk alongside God's most precious saints, he said that it would be better that someone have a millstone tied around their neck and be cast into the sea than to harm one of his little ones. And the Hope Project puts hands and feet to that. A lifeline to um, women and girls who have been human trafficked or are at risk for human trafficking. Uh, it is it is that beacon of light that that survivors can can look to and and know that they are going to be uh, understood. They are going to be welcomed, uh, and more importantly, they're going to have a, a group of advocates who are there to support them in whatever course of action they wish to take and whatever path they wish to walk. Yeah, it's a place of healing. And everyone that works for the Hope Project feels it's their purpose job. So we don't come to work just to work a job. We look forward to coming to work, seeing who we're gonna meet that day. I love how each time I walk in the door, I'm greeted with sincere love and kindness. It's just such a sense of belonging and support, no matter who you are or what you've been through, where you come from. It helps with stability and, you know, also a place where you can go, where you can feel needed and, you know, cared for. The Hope Project to me means hope. In its name is to give hope to those who, who need it, desperately need it. And it gives them a place to find uh, restoration and a new beginning. Definitely security, which is huge. I'm blessed, I feel very blessed to be able to be a part of the Hope Project. I say with the food, with the clothing, with the shelter, with just being there, um, watching the staff run around, um, literally sometimes, because they've heard someone has a need, it's like everybody goes to action. I think of education, I think of acceptance, I think of a soft place to land, I think of compassion, I think of empathy, and I think of new beginnings and empowerment. I feel like when I walk in the doors, this is where I belong. And uh, I think that that is a feeling that a lot of people get when they walk in the door, is that, okay, this is, this is a home for me. I can, I can come in here and feel safe, feel heard, um, feel supported. Uh, yeah, what, what we all want home to feel like. It's a like way to find people, like other people who had gone through like trauma or something like I did. I think the biggest thing is that it means hope. Hope for the community, hope for our current clients, hope for the future, that maybe one day we will be out of jobs because trafficking will be done. The Hope Project to me represents the people the people who give of themselves and their gifts for the glory of God to any woman that comes through the door or is brought to them or has to be rescued from sex trafficking so that they might have a future and a hope so they can be free. The work's important for the, uh, those young individuals and I mean young individuals of age and giving them the, uh, the tools that they need to succeed. It's just one of those the factors that we really need here um, that we re really can't do without. I love the whole project. I think we're all, we all learn and grow by being a part of it. We don't claim to do it perfectly, but we're always willing. And I think that's, that's unique and um, that's why I keep working with the whole project.